To do a self-assessment for diastasis recti, lay on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the floor. The first thing you'll do in this position is simply assess how the tissue feels. So place your fingers below your sternum in the middle of your abdomen. And from here, gently press down and palpate that tissue, lowering toward your belly button, and then a few inches below your belly button and back up. And we're just assessing right now, what does this feel like? Is the tissue taut and tight or is it squishy? Is it giving way to our fingers as we press down? What is that like? And if you're not sure yet what you're feeling for and how this all feels, that's okay. We're just establishing a baseline. Now from here, let's add a little contraction. We'll do so by taking a breath in and now exhale. And as you do, lift your head and neck so that your head is about an inch off the floor. It doesn't have to be a big crunch. In fact, it shouldn't be. It's just a little lift, one inch off the floor. And in this position, we'll palpate for three different areas. The first site will be at your belly button. The second site will be about three finger widths or four and a half centimeters above your belly button. And then that third site will be that same distance, about three fingers, four and a half centimeters below the belly button, okay? So as we do this, let's, let's do it together at the belly button. Inhale, and now exhale, lift up one inch. And in this position, you're gonna feel for two different things. First is the space in that gap between your abdominals. So if your rectus abdominis is coming in on the left and the right, any space there you would feel between the two ridges of the muscle on either side. In this position, you might feel one, two, three, or however many fingers that you can place into that space. And that's what we wanna make note of by fingers. How many fingers can I place in that space? For me, I do not have diastasis recti. However, at the belly button, I do feel a little bit of space, about one finger width between those ridges. And that's normal to feel at the belly button. So you're gonna note how many fingers can you place there in that space. The second thing you'll note is how much the tissue gives way to your fingers. How deep can your fingers go down? And make note of that as well. Okay, now let's do the other sites. So let's go three fingers above the belly button, inhale. And again, feeling for how much space do we have in that gap and how much can our fingers press down into the gap. And if you need to do it a couple of times at any given site to make sure that you're really feeling it correctly, then you can do that and we'll do it one more time down those three finger widths below. And again, that width and the depth. Now generally, if you have a width of two or more fingers in that space there, that would be indicative of diastasis recti. So if you are feeling that width, or if you're feeling quite a bit of give to those fingers where you can push your fingers down quite far, then that would be a great thing to take to your healthcare professional and potentially see a physical therapist who has experience working with women who have diastasis recti.